Oh my god, Halifax, how are you guys doing tonight? Sick. My name is Ryan Dillon. I'm from St. John's, Newfoundland. That is right. Oh, oh my god. Thank you. That's so refreshing. I was in Toronto a few weeks ago, and I was like, oh, I'm from Newfoundland. And someone in the back was like, yeah! And I was like, oh, you've been to Newfoundland? They was like, no, but I've been to Halifax. I was like, great. That's a different place. You added nothing to this conversation. Hey, you want to go get some sushi? I love tacos. Shut the hell up, man. You don't know what you're talking about. I love being from Newfoundland, man. And when I go out to Toronto, people are like, you guys are the nicest people in the world. And it's true, we're very nice. But sometimes we're a little too nice. Yeah, 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 you know. I saw a person walking down the street in Toronto. I ran across it with his shoelace untied. I ran over, tied it for him, gave him $20, and said I was sorry. Like, and I walked away like, I should have asked before I tied the shoe for us. Damn it, damn it, damn it. So nice. In, out in Newfoundland, we're so nice. Like When someone comes over, the first thing we do is we offer them a cup of tea. Right? Right. First thing you do. But we're so polite, we offer the cup of tea, but we're too polite to take the cup of tea. So when someone comes over, nothing happens for five minutes. Would you like a cup of tea? No, don't be at that by you. Don't make me a cup of tea. You sit right down. We're not stressing you out. Not one, no bit. No, but I get your cup of tea. You want two milk? One, sure. You want milk? I got cow out back. I'm looking for you right now. No, don't be at that. I don't know how much a bag of Tetley is. That's not nine cents per bag. You save yourself your freaking dollar. You hear me now? I'll get your cup of tea. I don't want no tea. Drink the freaking tea. I don't want no freaking tea. Nicest people in the world. <laughs> We don't say yes right away because we wouldn't know what to do. Would you like a cup of tea? Yeah. <laughs> Two milk, one sugar. And that guy's like. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't have any tea. <laughs> I thought you were going to say no. Anybody here broke? Here's my financial goal in life. I want to be at a point where $20 doesn't make such a huge difference in my week, okay? That's it. Do you ever wake up on a Monday without just $20, right? You're like, damn it. I can't hang out with friends. Can't go see a movie. I wake up Monday with $20 and I'm like, I'm buying cheese. Like, I'm so jazz. So jazz. That is, that's the litmus test for poor, by the way. If you don't have cheese, you goofed, okay? That's it. That's it, right? That's it, this is just cheese. I'm buying hard cheese and soft cheese and I'm dipping the hard cheese and the soft cheese, right? And I get a nice crisp 20, I go, to the, I go get like a nice big thing of Kraft Singles and I go in my kitchen and I make it rain cheddar. Like I love it, love it. God. I was poor growing up too. Didn't know how poor I was until someone recently explained to me just how I got into Tim Horton's camp. Have you ever been to camp? Yeah, I've been to Tim Hortons camp. Pfft, isn't that for poor people? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no, it's not. It's for poor kids. It's for poor. By the way, you don't need a, you don't need that great of a camp to look great to a poor kid, by the way. I walked into Tim Hortons camp, saw a bed, heat, and light, and I was like, this place is dope. Like, I was so jazzed, by the way. Do you ever play camp games as a kid? Like you go to camp, there's like camp games at the campfire and stuff like that. They had this awesome camp game at Tim Hortons camp called Seconds when you ate dinner. Holy crap. You get to eat twice. <laughs> Great game, recommend it. Play it all the time now. Uh, here's also why I would like to have like, just like just a few bucks is I would like to buy uh, nice clothes. I don't have like everything I'm owning, everything I'm wearing right now is from a thrift store and there's nothing wrong with that. Like, uh, totally cool with going to the thrift store. I just like to not feel the embrace of the dead when I put on clothes, you know what I mean? Right? Do you ever put on a tie and feel the man who hung himself with it? It's a nightmare. It's the worst. Oh my God. But like, I wouldn't even know what cool clothes are or like what to buy. I have no idea about hip trends. I saw a guy walking downtown one time with a sweater on and all the sweater said on it was cocaine and caviar. <laughs> Cocaine and caviar. Never have I ever seen a shirt that said two things on it that made it look like you couldn't afford those two things. <laughs> if you're wearing a shirt that says cocaine and caviar, you don't have any cocaine and caviar. You've never seen cocaine and caviar. You haven't seen them on the same mirror before. <laughs> if, you, if being cool is wearing a shirt that says two things on it you can't afford, I'm getting a shirt that says chapstick and butter. Like, that's what I'm gonna wear. You laugh, but I look great. <laughs>
My name is Ryan Dillon. Thank you so much. Give it up for all the comics coming up next.